Sam the Lemon Boy has released a new video, an amazing content creator. I love his videos, always do. Um, and he's made a new video called How It Feels to Play Party Find Out. I'm very, I'm very excited for this one. I'm very, very excited. I have a question okay. for you. Do you absolutely hate yourself? Yeah, what's Sometimes. this healing, by the way? Do you like to limit us to your capabilities of being an absolute burden to seven troglodytes? I'm pogging, bro. <laughs> Move! <laughs> Do you enjoy testing your patience with seven chimpanzees that have figured out on how to use the computer for the first time in their lives? Yes. Uh... Sage. Sage. No! And most of all, do you enjoy spending your time bashing your head against the wall for hours on end? Yes. It's fun. That's me. Welcome to Final Fantasy XIV's greatest successor, which is called the Party Finder. Uh. It's like pegging, but instead of having an experimental girlfriend, you get a multitude of jackasses ready to shit on your goals. Holy oh. shit. Uh. Oh, no. Ready your food, ready your pots. Just pull <laughs> and wipe, like a lot. Not that kind. And enjoy the feeling of euphoric release when the boss finally goes down. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Dude, this is tilting to watch. No. Stop. <laughs> this is how it feels to play Party Finder. But before we get into that, I have a sponsor. Yes, I am oh, surprised as well. This video is sponsored by our good friends over at Tokyo yeah. Treat and Sakura Co. Go, Don't you ever get bored waiting for a party to fill up while doing content with Party Finder? Eat some snacks. Yeah, me too. And naturally, we tend to snack on something while we're bored. And with today's sponsor, you can snack on something mm. more exotic. Experience the Japanese culture in the comfort of your own home with these snack boxes. Tokyo Yum. Treat is the biggest Japanese snack box that offers up to 20 items mm. such as exclusive drinks, instant so ramen, rare Kit Kat tasty. flavors, and many yeah. more things that are only available in Japan for a limited time. Mm -mm. While Sakura Co. offers more authentic Japanese goods made by artisans ranging from mochi, tea, tableware, mm. and plenty of other more traditional goods. And every passing month, there is a specific theme they go for. With Tokyo Treat, it's Snacktacular Christmas. With the of holiday course. season coming along, this would be an amazing gift to give to yourself or your loved ones, containing things Definitely like Kit strawberry chocolate cake flavor, mm. Christmas cake gummies, and many more. And Sakura Co. is holidays in Hokkaido. Featuring the northern part of Japan, this is the perfect theme for the Christmas spirit, gifting you things like milk mochi and matcha ganmaicha, which is a staple green tea, might I add. While most commercial green teas appear more yellow, this is actually a yes. tint of green with a very rich flavor. And the tableware being the indigo yuzen dish, which is a perfect plate to serve your cute little sold. snacks on. From Tokyo Treats, I tried I'm the pure sold. potato and Kit Kat, and they are out of this world. Beautiful. And from Sakura Ko, I tried the bamku and the matcha ganmaicha, which I probably butchered severely. <laughs> Many kicks of really interesting flavors in these two boxes, I'd highly recommend it to you. With a worldwide express delivery, a complete allergen information, and a 20 plus page culture guide, mm. you are not only guaranteed safety, but also information about the culture where your goodie box comes from. My family and I That's thoroughly cool. enjoyed the many interesting things packaged in this box, and I am sure wow. you will yeah, too. Yeah, it's a lot with of stuff. season coming by, this would be an amazing gift to share, even with oh. your cat. Oh, baby. Allegedly. You can use my link in the description with the code LEMONBOY to get $5 off of your first order with Tokyo Lemon Treat Boy. or Sakura Co. Thank you again to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. for sponsoring today's video and thank you job, for Sam. sticking around. Add over. Good job. The plan was simple. Clear the raids as quickly as humanly possible. The method was derogatory. Find the most deranged nincompoops in the EU data center. Use the methods of socialism to connect to the elder gods to be great with gamers. <laughs> or the most vile and stupid mother <laughs> bitch mother in Party Finder, or hell so as good. the cool kids like to call it, there are very specific things that they like to call strategies. Yes. Strategies that they can't even follow themselves. Strategies that are so plainly set out for them that they forget what strat they are even using. <laughs> People will join True. a P9S to fight good old cock itis and they'll be like, is this a JP or Oppo? And then the motherfucker Oppo. will say, that's a Kral stat. Stat? 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 What the fuck? These strats are the most cognitive and huh? disciplined players. Players mm -hmm. that maximize their capabilities in gameplay and mechanical strategy with the power of Love Sense and ACT. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing Ether Sense. Wait. Was this Saren? 
Oh my god, wait. Play a mechanical strategy with the power of Love Sense and ACT. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I love Saren. I got to meet Saren in front of us. Great guy, great guy. Introducing Ether Sense. What the oh, fuck was the segment about? Allow me to summarize the basic premise of Party Finder. Find the content that you wish to prog, clear, yes. or farm. Make a party or join one. And I cannot yes. emphasize this enough. Read the goddamn description. If you join a party, <laughs> wait till your soul decomposes. If you make a party, count your hours because it's going to be a rough one. You might as well watch paint dry as your party fills up with the most degenerate oh. fucks to surface the playing fields. Experience the aura lore by sitting on a rock sunbathing till a Party Finder fills up because... <laughs> Run around with incredible ping because the Square Enix servers imploded. <laughs> I think this is how it looks like when the intrusive thoughts gets bored. Holy going shit. through content with Party Finder is like going through the five stages of grief. A constant loop of emotions till you finally find yourself in the last stage. And because of how fun it is to go mm -hmm. through it, let's talk about it. Stage 1. Denial. When you go through your 10th pull in an alleged re-clear party, you begin to feel numb. And that is completely common in the first few attempts after bereavement. Bereaving the loss of time spent in a party you had too much hope for. But no, you don't believe that. You are sure this party will clear. Yeah. Just one the more faith. pull. Yeah. One last... You guys <sighs> got this. Stage 2. Anger. When the text light party appears on your screen, you realize that it's another 30 minutes of waiting for another slug to slide into the party. That boiling feeling that burns at your chest, those intrusive thoughts running through your mind as you hover over the blacklist button, and it's moments <laughs> like these that you stop yourself and uh, move on to the look, third Look, the only reason I ever get mad is because it's like your time feels like it's being wasted. Like, I think that's the only time I ever get a bit mad or like frustrated it's like this is my time and if you don't know how to like do something like this isn't a teaching party I mean like you should know what you're doing like I don't know that's the that's the only time I get mad is when people just don't know what they're doing and they're just wasting everyone's time stage stage three bargaining it is at this point Bargaining. that you start to make deals with yourself, believing that you can act in particular ways to feel better, but finding that common feeling of asking the question, what if? Wishing <laughs> that we were able to go back and yeah, what if? fight in that What if we had party. someone else join Stay the party? <laughs> Depression. Sadness and longing is a constant feeling we get when we end the day without a clear. Imagine yeah. going through an entire day, progging or attempting to clear anything from ultimates, extremes, savages, or even criterion dungeons. Stop laughing. This hollow feeling comes in waves, whether throughout days or weeks, until you finally end at the last stage awaiting you. Stage 5 acceptance <laughs> this stage can come in many different forms either come to terms with the fact that pf is a place to a variety of specimens or realize that this is just not worth it anymore <laughs> whichever comes nah, first it's fine. who knows it's maybe fine. you had these exact same feelings even when you were with a static but aside from all that cringe why is pf such a mess of a place and the only answer i can genuinely give is a small and reasonable statement everyone that joins pf has some level of brain damage it's it's actually an achievement, see? And with the many things <laughs> that you will experience in this Hello? game, like the French, the Germans, the English, and many more, there will always be a variety to the dumb shit that you can be approached by. But somehow, they will always be met with this spare. Uh, for a second, I thought the Lala fell jumped off. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It's like the old saying That's goes, good, eh? there are people that evolved from apes, and there are people that look like they evolved from apes. <laughs> gone through your five stages oh, great because it's time to talk about your 13th reason why responsive every role has to carry out a responsibility don't die don't do shit and don't be a little bitch somehow those responsibilities fall on all three roles huh while healers mm -hmm. tend to have the biggest form of responsibility every person in a full party has their own commitments to deal with yes. besides your basic Aww. responsibilities like cock spots Baby. stacks pairs spreads and obviously everyone's favorite limit cut your job is to survive the mitigations and damage with you know your whole kit but don't worry it won't be that difficult because if you gaslight yourself hard enough every mechanic is a stand and let thing resolve <laughs> people not know how to stand and let thing resolve 
Nah. But I have to be Holy honest shit. with you. There are times that when you are in a PF, all you want to do is go off saying, Grab your pot, eat your food, watch your guy, party, Let's find go. your body, lie about your damn prog point fucker. Let my cut stack, Marcus, find a pot and do a crime. Crime so bad, your name's on every black list, fucker. Tell me I ain't shit when I'm Holy crap, let's go, Sam. Miss position calling gloves on fidelity. Hard to see, a fruit can be so wild and free. Hold your breath, no one cares, just both flee. And then you get blacklisted after that. But that rap was pretty good. That was pretty good. myself hard enough. Speaking of gaslighting, ever heard of FF Logs? It's this fantastic and incredible place that exaggerates people's capabilities no. as a McDonald's employee oh, no. or a certified sex offender. Kind of like when you see someone with an ultimate title. Don't worry about it, though. You can suck more dicks than your average cat girl in Limsa and still get multiple clears. Until the day Raider IO becomes common practice, you are safe to casually raid. Nah, I'm just kidding. You can join PF with me and fuck things Sketch up because it's just I'm dumb scared. fun. <laughs> oh Wait a my minute. God. Really dumb fun. Uh, Ooh, uh, what? <laughs> I'm busting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busting, you don't understand. Actually, no, that was my fault, my bad. Look, I got a standing so cast, good. man. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that shape before. <laughs> oh. They got the pole in it. Oh my god. I've, I've never seen that. I've never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout my years of playing Final Holy Fantasy XIV, I have to say that Party Finder has got to be the golden point of my entire fourteen experience. Being someone who actually feared to get into a party of seven mm. random people, I now thoroughly enjoy wasting yeah. my time with these idiots because I tend to be the eighth moron. Aww. I would genuinely- Oh my god, that's 104k bussing. And if you are like past me who feared to join a party finder, 100%. I understand. All I can say is to do your homework and give it your all. I'm sure you can yeah, do it. Do your thank homework. you for watching this video yeah. and thank exactly. you Have for fun. watching the streams. And all of the footage you saw in the background were moments taken from past <laughs> streams, so if you'd like to catch me live, yes. you can follow me on Twitch. I'm actually do live that. after this video's upload, so come hang Hell before yeah. I hang myself. Anyway, what I was going to say, Party Finder is actually a lot of fun. I think you need to always just go into that expectation of Party Finder as like anything could happen. Anyone could join. Prepare yourselves. Like, I, but I think that's the, the fun part of Party Finder. Like you, you don't really know what's going to happen. You don't know what to expect, which, I, which is fun. You know, you don't know who you're going to meet or like bump into and all, all this sort of stuff.